I remember sleeping on the floor, mama, she was broke. Was taking showers in the cold. And I remember seeing niggas sell dough, buying cars and clothes. So that's the only thing I know. We had no house, no lights, no car. We ain't had no food. <clears throat> so y'all know, uh, like the majority of like Mr. Nightmare videos, I usually have popcorn, right? So for Llama Arts, what snack do you think will be acceptable for his reactions, his videos? You know, oh, that's how I just started. I just thought about something. For like each like main uh, person I react to, like Mr. Nightmare, um, Llama Arts, Wansi, Chills, Top 15, uh, Nukes Top 5. What snacks do you think will be acceptable for those for those people? You know what I mean? Mort. Let me know that. Cause I have a I have popcorn for Mr. Nightmare, but nobody else. So that'll be dope. You know what I mean? Like they be like in the comment section. Oh, it's not, it's not like a one C, uh, reaction. Oh, it's not a llama arch reaction without M and M's. You know what I mean? Like, let me know what, uh, what snacks will be acceptable for like different people's uh, reactions. But it's early in the morning, kind of. I should not be that scared. Let's go. Shouts out to the poof. To the poof. To the poof poof. Sup? Yo. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. I forgot I wasn't connected to uh, my AirPods. Okay, now. Now, I, I'm, now I'm connected. I got you. So, yo, what, that tongue was weird. There we go. Can't hear nothing. I'm not making this video for attention. Right. Or sympathy or anything. Okay. I just want anyone who can help me to do that. My name's Daniel. And this is a story I wish I didn't have to tell. I've been a night owl my entire life. As a teen, I used to stay up way past midnight every night, right. watching terrifying videos on YouTube. I know now they were nothing compared to the horrors of the real world. Nothing compared to the tragedy my family and I went through. The story I'm going to tell to you now. My parents, being teachers, had always emphasized the importance of sleeping well to me and would definitely disapprove of my late night routine. So I knew that if they'd caught me up at that time, I'd be in big trouble. At first, this wasn't a problem, but after I told them about a child predator in our neighborhood that I'd seen in one of my videos, they seemed to grow more and more paranoid, which was obviously understandable. Every night, I'd hear one of them wandering into my room, checking on me, and every so, night... So... You had to find out out yourself, and not your parents? Your parents didn't know nothing about this. Your parents didn't know nothing about a predator in the neighborhood. Your parents didn't know nothing about the predator. Oh, come on. Really? Either your mom or dad are in cahoots or they both in cahoots. I don't know who that kid was, the other kid on the table. I'm guessing that's your brother. He could be in cahoots. You know what I mean? So it's like nothing. I'm not. Everything's up for grabs right now. Just saying. I'd immediately turn off my light and pretend to be asleep. I never knew for sure if it was my mom or dad coming in, since obviously if I opened my eyes to see, they'd know I was awake. Oh my! It better Honestly, be I presumed it was my dad from the heavy it sounding footsteps, it, but it either way, I found it pretty hypocritical. It, 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 uh, 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 
It better not be that predator. If it is, nobody check the checklist. Hey, nobody check the checklist. Hey, daddy didn't check the checklist. Hey, mama didn't check the checklist. Hey, brother didn't check the checklist. Hey, nobody check the checklist. Hey, nobody check the checklist. Hey, nobody check the checklist. Hey, ew, he got feet like a predator. <laughs> Critical for them to preach to me about being up late when they were awake themselves. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I wondered if they knew I wasn't sleeping because often it was only after what seemed like hours before they'd finally leave and go to check wow. on Alfie. That's okay. my little brother and Lucy, my little sister. I'd have asked them about it, but I thought it would have confirmed any suspicions which they seemed to already have about my staying awake deep into the morning so the next day. Like I said, I guess they were just paranoid about the child predator. It was stupid. Stupid for me to presume any of these things, and I'll never forgive myself for it, but I did it all the same. Anyway, one day, Lucy's school, where my parents both work, announced a school trip. It meant they'd be gone at some point next month from Saturday morning to Sunday morning, and it meant that I'd finally get to watch the horror movie my friend had lent me, that my parents had refused to let me watch. There you know what's ironic one... about this? He loves watching horror movies, horror videos, but he's in a horror video himself. Downside, though, I'd be left to look after Alfie. Alf? He, being only six years old, my mom was reluctant to leave him in my care He looks so sus. But my dad defended me, reminding her that Alfie had been up most of the night after a nightmare, so he'd probably sleep most of the day anyway. Besides, he reassured her, he's 17. He could be given a little responsibility. With a heavy heart, my mom agreed. I honestly wish she hadn't. Finally, the morning came for them to head off. It took longer than expected because my sister said some of her favorite toy dolls had been stolen. But eventually... Where, 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 where did she come from? Who man is this? What's up? What's up? What's up? I feel like every time I say what's up, like I don't say this off of camera, but like in a video, if I ever say like what's up, I gotta follow up with two more what's ups. Where does she come from, bro? <laughs> like what? Come on. Like, and please close your cur curtains. I'm about to say curtains. Please close your curtains. Jesus. Do not like, do not be like your mom and dad and I check the checklist. My mom persuaded her that they were probably just lost and told me to look for them look, whilst they look, were gone. Look. I begrudgingly agreed and soon they were ready Lines to go. Lines just open. As they were leaving, my mom gave me a stern word, reminding me to lock the doors, not go to bed too late, and take good care of Alfie. She told me. Oh, she something that y'all don't do. For real, that's funny. To lock the doors. Huh? Y'all don't do that. Take care of Alfie. Uh huh. Y'all don't do that. What up? She said a third. She said something else. Oh, not to, not to like stay up late or something like that. Huh? Y'all don't do that. I don't want to tell me something. How do you want to tell me to do something when y'all don't do it your damn self? I'd be watching through the security cameras to make sure I was looking after him properly. I told her she really didn't have to worry. Then we said our goodbyes, and they were off. Alfie and I spent most of the day playing outside, but came in after the frisbee landed near a strange man who Alfie said had been in his wow. nightmare. I told him that that was ridiculous. Because even if he somehow was in his dream, he wouldn't be able to remember. You, how do you know that? Anyway, I went by myself to get it. And I have to admit that the man was fairly creepy. He had a huge grin, and his eyes, staring right at me, seemed to be permanently forced further open than they were designed to go. His clothes all seemed to have been made from someone 50 years younger, as they struggled to cling to his fully grown body. It was cold, but he was wearing a sun hat. 
a tiny one for children, which barely fit on his head. I recognized it, but didn't know how at the time. If I'd learned anything from the videos I spent my nights watching, I'd have abandoned the frisbee and left, but clearly I didn't, because not wanting to feel like a baby, I approached him. Fuck that frisbee! As I got closer to the man, his smile disappeared, and he removed the hat and held it behind his back. I began to see his features in greater detail. He looked tired. He was pale and his eyes were bloodshot oh. and had huge gaping bags Jesus. in them. In the entire time it took me to get to him, the man didn't move an inch, other than the odd blink. Not even his eyes shifted. At this stage, I was getting uneasy. I just wanted to get it and leave. Hi, can I have my frisbee back, please? Thanks. The thought of that conversation, if you could... That whole walk from his little brother to the uh, predator, that whole walk, I know his balls was tight. Chills out the ass. Like, I know for a fact that he was just... Uh, like, that was probably, that's probably one of the longest walks. The longest, shortest walks he has ever taken. It definitely, it definitely would have been for me. And another thing, if you not, like... If you, if you, if you don't got no arms, or no hands, or no fingers... And somebody accidentally throws a frisbee to you, and you can't throw it back, you sus. And even call it a conversation still makes me shiver. I locked the front door as soon as we got home. We were both a bit shaken, and Alfie looked tired, so I gave him some more food and put him to bed. It took him about two hours to wow. fall asleep. He kept complaining that he'd have another nightmare about that man. Big ass room. I told him he would, but he wasn't convinced. I see him every God night. God damn! He whispered to me. Well, if you see him again, you know, more... you know, you won't, you won't be able to see him if you just close your. <clears throat> curtain! 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 be here to fight him no, off. This seemed to settle him down, and soon he was fast asleep. Hey. At 11, it was time to put my film on. I couldn't have my mom knowing that I was watching it, so I did something naive and ignorant, and something I'll always regret. I turned off the security cameras. I watched it for two hours straight, my eyes never straying from the screen, until replayed the last few seconds of the film but the sound didn't happen again it was coming from inside Bye. my house Alfie he didn't reply but I could see him under the cover so I thought he was I thought just the window asleep, was closed. and I didn't want to wake him up I swear if I thought anything worse had happened I no I know you would I wouldn't I thought okay. the window was... I thought maybe I was just worrying too much, hearing things. It was late, and the film had been scary. Maybe it was just I thought that window was closed. I knew from the sound of his voice it was him. Alfie! Alfie? Usually this much noise would have woken him up. Alfie, that what's window going was definitely on? Closed. I knew something was wrong. It was him. Wow. The doll. I couldn't believe it. It had to be some kind of sick prank. It had to be. But it wasn't. It was the man I'd spoken to oh earlier. God. He'd taken my brother. Alfie! I was certain they'd be gone before I could reach them. But he didn't set off straight away. He watched as I tried helplessly to do something. I screamed, and I shouted, and I banged on the windows, and I tried to open the doors, 
But nothing worked. It was all in vain. There was nothing I could do for my brother, my best friend, as he was stolen away from me. It was too late for the police to do anything. It was too late for anybody to do anything. He was gone, and in time, I'd have to come to accept that. You have nine new messages. First message. Hello? If you're out with Alfie, call me back when you get back in, please. Love you guys. Bye. End of message. Second message. Daniel, we've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Is everything all right? Did you turn the security cameras off? They'll be fine. The security system probably just glitched. Nice. Hey, Alfie, just call us as soon as you can, okay? You know how mom worries. End of message. Third message. Listen, Daniel, we're starting to get really worried now. If you don't pick up, one of us is going to have to come home to check if everything's okay. Please pick up. End of message. Fourth me Daniel, are you okay? Daniel! What's happened? Please That's answer! Tough. I couldn't... Hey, yeah, like, all joking aside, like, no bullshit, like... His situation is clucked up. How do you tell your parents that? Like, I'm starting to get like, you know what I mean? I'm starting to get like emotion. Like, you know, a lot of my artist videos are so good. Like, but this one right here, oh my God. Like, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get real emotion because I'm starting to put my little sister who's eight in this situation. And I'm like, bro, like, I don't know if I would, Ooh, I don't know if, if I would be able to tell my folks or, you know what I mean, anybody at that point that a predator got my got my sister. Like, oh my God. How do you say something like that to your parents? Jesus. Prepare to tell them anything. <sighs> That was seven years ago. We never found him. When I asked my parents if they'd seen anything at all of this man whilst they checked on us during the night, they only looked at me, concerned and confused. What do you mean? They what do you asked. mean what I mean? I could only stare at them in horror. Every night, around two, you'd come and check on Alfie, Lucy, and me to see if we were sleeping. Daniel? They told me. No, no we, we didn't. Knew it. The police wanted security camera footage of the man, but of course, there wasn't any. It automatically deletes any footage older than 24 hours, which meant I'd been mindless enough to stop it recording on the only night we could have seen him. You know, the strange thing is, I don't even know if I want Alfie to be alive. Because if he is, God knows what that monster has done to him. <sighs> Sorry if I've gone on too long, but the guilt's been killing me. I had to get it out somehow. I only tell it as a story because, well, people like stories and I want as many people to hear this as possible. Alfie, if somehow you're watching, I love you. And I'm so, so sorry. Please, don't lose hope. And to the man who took you, it's not too late. If you have any heart at all, and even if you don't, please, please let my little brother come home. To everybody else, if someone comes into your bedroom at night, open your eyes. You never know who it might be. I still stay up late at night. But it's not because I don't want to sleep. It's because I can't. In case anyone sees Alfie, this is the last good photo we took of him. 
That's it. Stay safe. Thank you. Oh my God, this was good. It would have been so much better if I like if I had a. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description. It would have been so much better if I had a snack, but man, oh my God, like that's hard to say. I don't think I would. I would say if my sister, God forbid, if my sister got snatched up off bucks. I don't think I would have said anything because it's just it's hard to say something like that, especially when somebody depend somebody else depends on you. To watch some, like, oh, oh my God, that's goddamn. I hope, I hope, uh, uh, what's his name, Alfie or something? I hope he's okay. And this story, even though this story was kind of sad, it is sad. It would have all been, it would have been all been fine and dandy if people just checked the checklist. I'm not even trying to be funny right now. Check the checklist. Jesus. They would have been great. Oh my God. I mean, but then it's like, at the, uh, you knew you had a predator too, so it's like, that's kind of your fault. And then you told your parents that there was a predator. You, and they have two Little kids. There's a whole predator in your neighborhood, and y'all want to go ahead and leave. If I was the man, like all jokes aside, if I was the, if I was your parent, I would have just stayed. I would have stayed in the house, you know, for as long as I could. Got some security to see if I can get some security to run a block a couple times for a couple weeks. And I, I would have just canceled all plans. So this is, this is, I don't want to say it, but it's something that I need to say. But I don't think people want to hear it. This is kind of your fault. And it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely your parents' fault too. Y'all knew it was a predator in the neighborhood. You encountered, you encountered the predator with the frisbee. The love, with the frisbee. So, yeah. Oh. <sighs> but this was a very sad, good, awesome story. Just sad as hell. So, like, with that being said, has anybody ever experienced, um, like, their brother, like, little brother or sister or somebody that they knew that was, like, a, like a kid, like a kid, kid, like, small, and they got snatched up and your parents or somebody entrusted entrusted you to watch, you know what I mean? Or your little brother or sister or somebody that was small and you failed at protecting them? Let me know that in the comment section below because that has yet to happen to me, God forbid, but Jesus, I can see why y'all wanted me to, Lama Arts is like, ugh. It would be so dope if like either Llama Arts uh, collaborated with Juan C or Llama Arts uh, collaborated with Mr. Nightmare. Oh, God. Can you imagine how good that story would be if Mr. If Mr. Nightmare and Llama Arts like collaborated? Oh, my God. But yeah, man. This jump was sad, but it was good. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. And I love you. Stay happy. My family.